phenomenal game yesterday. Fun to watch. Watching that game with my wife and daughter from start to finish was a great experience for me uh, personally as a dad. I just want to say that. Uh, but watching that game, it, it was amazing because Caitlin Clark gets off uh, early with 18 points right off the bat. And my new favorite player in the history of college basketball um, shuts her down after that. Raven Johnson. I, I, she had the three, Raven Johnson revenge tour. Oh my, three <laughs> points. It is finally completed. I love three it. Three points, three assists, four steals, two blocks. And... I think she was the MVP of the entire... She was so good in that game yesterday, locking down Caitlin Clark, and I know Iowa had a chance late, but what a performance, Smalls, by South Carolina, completing an undefeated championship season. Absolutely, and we talked so much about Caitlin Clark and Iowa in this tournament, and we almost talked about South Carolina as if it was second billing to Caitlin Clark, the Caitlin Clark show, which I understand why, because Caitlin Clark has just been transformative throughout this collegiate basketball season but South Carolina is such a power and Dawn Staley I, I just look at her and I think is she the best coach in bas in collegiate basketball period right now I don't want to take anything away from Danny Hurley but to have her entire team be gone for her last year after the final four run for her to say that it was in such a state that she thought about retirement be able to build this team to where it is and for them to go on an undefeated run culminating in a national championship it's it's one of the great runs that we've seen it's unbelievable yeah, I mean, shout out to Don Staley. That's why I got the UVA hoodie on, right? Love one, of, it. one of our loves being able to do what she does. Completed the perfect season. I think it's the 10th perfect season in women's basketball history. Mm -hmm. But to be able to get it done under these circumstances where you were in the Final Four last year, you get back to the Final Four this year with five new starters. It is unprecedented. It's never happened before. So being able to have a culture around your program – that allows those underclassmen to step up and step in and, and get you back to this stage and then finally finish the drill and have it result in you cutting down to the nets. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's impressive. It's awesome. So I'm happy for her. South Carolina women's basketball is officially now a blue blood basketball program mm -hmm. with their third championship in eight years, their second championship in three years. They are there now. Like, this is an upper echelon program. This is a destination program. And nobody thought when Don Staley took over this job that it could become what it has become. So credit to her for being able to get that done. But then again, credit to all of those young ladies on that team. They played a phenomenal game. And after Caitlin Clark drops 18 in the first quarter, they found a way to be able to put the clamps on her, right? They held her to 12 points over the next three quarters. I think the second quarter, her first bucket in the quarter came with two minutes to go in the half. Like that that's how great Raven Johnson and Bree Hall and all of those those um those wing defenders for South Carolina were in terms of being able to figure out a way to limit Caitlin Clark's ability as a scorer, being able to push her out, forcing her to initiate the offense further away from the basket than she would have been comfortable doing. But I think ultimately what this game came down to, Ev, was just South Carolina had more. Mm -hmm. They had more firepower. They're nine deep. They had nine players pay 15 minutes or more. And so you saw that takeover in the third quarter where they were able to extend the small lead that they had at halftime. And you mentioned it. You said it on Twitter yesterday. You said they know if they're going to compete, Iowa and Lisa Bluter, they had to play Caitlin Clark every second of their game. Kate Martin, every second of that game. Gabby Marshall, every second of that game. They had no chance. Yeah. But ultimately, those three had no gas when it came down to clutch time, and that was the difference in the ballgame. I would like to even be more specific, and we're going to get to your calls on Calipari, by the way, in just a little bit here, but you brought up the depth. Tessa Johnson at 19 points was unbelievable, but I don't, I don't think she was the one who changed the game. I think literally there was one substitution that completely changed the game, and that was Malaysia Fulwiley. When mm -hmm. she came in, forget it. She's ridiculous. She's one of these players that – Dawn Staley has on the bench because she's new and young. Dawn Staley knows, even with Cardoza going to the WNBA and probably going to be a top 10 pick, she, she knows. This is the best player in college basketball, like for the next however many years, long with Juju Watt. Like, Malaysia Fawaili is no joke. And I think that is what changed the game. Dawn Staley deserves all the credit. South Carolina deserves all the credit. But what Dawn Staley did post game in talking to Holly Rowe on ABC was such an amazing endorsement for Caitlin Clark. Here is the championship head coach crediting a player on the runner up. I really would just like to say, I have to congratulate Iowa on an incredible season. Awesome, awesome. And I, I want to personally thank 
Caitlin Clark for lifting up our sport. Her sh she carried a she carried a heavy load for our sport, and it just is not going to stop here on the collegiate tour. But when she is the number one pick in the WNBA draft, she's going to she's going to lift that league up as well. So so Caitlin Clark, if you're out there, you are one of the goats of our games that we appreciate you. I thought that was so powerful that Dawn Staley in that moment went out of her way to take the spotlight away from her team who just won a national title to shout out Caitlin Clark because it is true. Everything she said is true. Caitlin Clark carried an unbelievable burden throughout the entire season mm -hmm. knowing that the spotlight was on her with the record and then after that the goat talk. Does she need to win a title? And for her to be able to accomplish all of that and never crack, never falter, continue to shine throughout all of it and when the pressure seemingly was so great, Caitlin Clark never wavered. And she has been so transformational for college basketball. And I just thought it was such a remarkable thing for Don Staley to do, to take that moment out and shout Caitlin Clark out after her team won. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. I, I, I know that this is about Don Staley in, in South Carolina women's basketball, but we do have to acknowledge how gracious Caitlin Clark was in defeat. Yes. I mean, just the way that she handled herself at the podium, the decorum, all of those things. It, it, it gave the air of professionalism, even though she's a college kid. Like, I mean, I was just impressed by her saying how good South Carolina was, saying how proud of her program um, that she was, and, and acknowledging the accomplishments that they had, they, had, they had achieved. I mean, back-to-back -back Final Fours at Iowa. I mean, it's impressive to see what she has done and to have that level of awareness to not be dismissive of what that team was able to do, mm -hmm. even though they didn't win the ultimate prize. To me, that just that just speaks to the level of maturity that Caitlin Clark has and why she's been able to handle this level of stardom at such a young age. Quickly here, guys. Do you guys think going in, Caitlin Clark kind of knew? Like some of the graciousness was like, we can't beat this team. Like no. This, this, no, they were up 27 no. to 20 after the first quarter. I know, quarter. but it was just like, one of like, the yeah. elite competitors of the yeah, modern era. She there's no, exhausted, nah. though. She might have looked exhausted, but there's no way she went into that game thinking she couldn't win nah. it. That's not how she's built. I mean, she bounced South Carolina in the Final Four last year. Why would she think she's not capable of doing it again? I and just, I mean, after an 18-point first quarter, mm -hmm. why would you think you can't win that game? She just looked exhausted by the. She end. was exhausted. Well, think, <laughs> you know think I mean? about she looked exhausted because she they, was exhausted. They almost think took her put breaks during the game with her. Go, but sorry, go I was just gonna say, think about this entire season though. How much just she has been required oh. to get Iowa to where they are. No, no. I would be exhausted too at the end of all of that. And Precious love, this does spell out Love longing for our union then Love my fragrance, so captive is seeing You close to me, I lose myself Never thought I would find love like this Never thought I would be waiting Move your body, let your spirit soar 
Elevate your rhythm, move your body. 